Joining us now is Nadia Tolokonikova, founding member of the Russian protest art collective Pussy Riot. She served prison time in Siberia for criticizing Vladimir Putin. Nadia, thanks for, for being with us. I, when you hear a Russian spokesman there just lying so smoothly, what goes through your mind? It makes me want to puke. I hate him so much, never hated anyone so much in my life. Like Vladimir Putin and Peskov and Ansel, it's triggering to even watch him. I, I never watch Russian television because it's just too hard to see how they lie to their own people. I have my own family members back in Russia who believe that there is no civilians targeted by, um, by the Russian military. It's, um, they just held people hostages. Uh, Putin and Peskov, they held Russian people hostages and buying them. You have family members who, who, who don't believe what you believe, who, who believe what Putin is saying. Um, it's my stepbrother, uh, but there is not much I can do because when we show them uh, pictures from Mariupol, from Kharkiv, from Kiev, uh, they just say this fake news and it's propaganda from the West. The, the protest that we've seen in Russia, I mean, it's, it's extraordinary to see so many people going out on the streets in small ways, in some small acts of protest even, um, and in some, you know, holding up signs, being arrested. I'm wondering what you are hearing from friends there about the protests. Is, I mean, are, does it make you hopeful at all? Um, it's direct opposite of what I feel when I see Peskov. It makes me feel proud and helpful. It makes me feel um, full. I'm full of love for Russian people. And I, I'm really grateful for those who actually separate these days Russians from uh, Russian government. And it really hurts that Putin destroys not just Ukraine, but Russia. When I see protesters, I see the future of my country, future for my country, and we'll have to work for years to come in order to you know, rebuild, they rebuilt our reputation that we, we just destroyed because we were not able to get rid of Putin in time. And what you need to understand about Russian protesters is that there are so much more people who want to protest, but they cannot just because they are not, they are not ready to go to jail for 15 years. Not everyone is as brave as that, or they have family responsibilities and they just cannot show up in street in streets or simply tweet because even tweet and um, Instagram story um, or Telegram post can bring you to jail for up to 15 years. I, I it was odd to hear Vladimir Putin today complaining about so-called cancel culture in the West and comparing himself to, to J.K. Rowling. I mean, <laughs> it's surreal. <laughs> it's nuts. <laughs> That's nuts, but it's something that we've been dealing for the last 20 years. It's just, um, um, it was, I, I felt, I felt actually so much like I was felt gaslit by my own government and by some people who didn't react on Putin strong enough for, for the last 20 years because, you know, this word that he started, um, he didn't start it yesterday, he started in 2014 and all this inter terrible machine of propaganda they say is it war and peace, like just exactly like in um, famous Orwell um, novel. It's, uh, it's something that we've been witnessing for the last 20 years and, um, you know, definitely like, as strong as today. We've been witnessing it since 2014 and it just, uh, it just hurts me to see that um, Vladimir Putin, his, um, his regime, his power is definitely agonizing. It hurts for me to see that he is hurting so many people, including my friend Aksana Bolodina, who was just murdered in Kiev. I, I want to I ask you about her because you, um, you, you mentioned her. Aksana Bolina was her name. Uh, she was killed uh, in a shelling incident while working in Kiev. I want to sh just show our viewers Pussy Riot's tweet yesterday. It said, 2017, Alexei Navalny is still on freedom. Oksana Balina is still alive. Putin destroys those who have passion, ethics, and vision. Those who know how to laugh and love, how to fight, and how to never be scared. It, it, th that is the people. I mean, all, that, all those qualities are things that Vladimir Putin is scared about. It, it hurts me so much, is it? I can't even, um, I can comprehend how just one person can cause so much power, so much pain to, um, to the whole humanity. Um, and I'm, I'm deeply, 
I'm deeply sorry that we're not able to um, get him out of power earlier. Um, Oksana is, um, is an amazing person who I know for years, um, and she was working at um, Foundation Against Corruption with Alexei Navalny, who was just sentenced to nine years in jail. And that's been nuts. Um, day before yesterday, I heard that my friend Alexei Navalny is sentenced for nine years in jail, and he served three years in jail already. He was poisoned before. Uh, two, day, two years before that, my husband, my ex-husband, and the father of my daughter was poisoned almost to death. And um, two days ago, I heard that um, my friend Oksana died. And um, I'm honestly just too scared to open my phone and look at the news because I'm, I'm terrified at getting uh, more terrible news. Uh, father of my daughter is um, a journalist, and he's a founder of Media Zana, co-founder of Me, which is a media outlet and it was started in 2014, but uh, Putin blocked it um, a few weeks ago for covering the war. But um, my ex-husband is in um, Ukraine right now, he's in Lviv, and me and my daughter are terrified to just <laughs> read one day that he's not with us anymore because of another shelling from Russian army. Mm. Nadia, I, I so appreciate talking to you, and, and it's such an important, your, your voice is, is so important, and I'm sorry for, for all the losses that you are able to, to count on your hands. It's, um, it's sickening and uh, unfair. Uh, Nadia Tolokonikova, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.